Good morning and uh, welcome to Cyber UK 2022 in the fantastic venue of the Celtic Manor in Wales. And my name is Paul Chichester. I'm the Director of Operations at the UK's National Cyber Security Centre. And with me today is Sammy Curry, the head of Ca the Canadian Cyber Security Centre. And a key part of uh, the event this year is again looking at partnerships and the importance of those. And so it's fantastic to have Sammy with me today uh, to touch on some of those key issues. Um, so, Sammy, what's your impression so far of the conference? Uh, thanks, Paul, for the opportunity to be here. Uh, it's my first attendance at the Cyber UK event and uh, just a few hours into the show, and it's super impressive. I'm really happy to be here, not just in, in Wales, but also participating in Cyber UK. The diversity of the attendees, the breadth of the participation, uh, I'm really happy to see how broad it is catering to all facets of UK society, but also international partnerships too. So. Fantastic. And so um, we always talk about cybersecurity being a really important team sport. Uh, as the head of the Canadian Cybersecurity Centre, what would you say some of the key um, similarities and some of the key differences are that you would sort of observe between perhaps the Canadian approach and the UK approach so far? Um, I would say there's a lot more similarities than differences between uh, the UK approach. Uh, we share the same problem. We share the same threats. Uh, we care about the same things. Uh, but uh, if there is a slight difference, it's in the, the size of the landscape that we have between the size of the Canadian landscape and the size of the UK landscape. So uh, we tend to spend a bit more time traveling. But, uh, but otherwise, the approach, all of government approach, all of society approach is absolutely highlighted here. And same thing in Canada, we tend to promote an all of society approach and also most importantly, a team approach that we all have to work together to tackle this very important challenge. And, and I mean, you touch on there the sort of the scale of the sort of Canadian geography. Um, that must bring some of its own unique challenges to trying to understand and protect the, the critical infrastructure. So how are you sort of finding that uh, in the role? Challenging to say the least, um, because we have, we have a huge country and we have to cater to many, many sectors of uh, the Canadian version of CNI. Uh, but the good thing is that we, we have built a number of partnerships with all of these CNI sectors and we are working to promote cyber resilience amongst them. But there's a lot to be learned by being here and also building bridges between UK CNI and Canadian CNI, because at the end of the day, there's not much difference in terms of whether it's an energy producer or a, a transportation company. The size is the what makes the difference, but otherwise there are many, many similarities. And in terms of the sort of threat landscape, uh, obviously, you know, we share a lot of common threats as well. So what are the sort of priorities for you in the role uh, from a threat perspective? Uh, in Canada, cybercrime and ransomware are the top threat. And definitely we are concerned about that and working with the Canadian sectors to bring awareness to the challenge, to get uh, sectors to raise the bar on cyber resilience is very important. But also we have nation state uh, threat. Uh, so it's all about education. It's all about learning. It's all about sharing, whether it's internationally uh, sharing on these forums or uh, uh, domestically, but it's all about bringing light to the threat that we are seeing in Canada and we're seeing here. Yeah. Well, and it does sound like there are a lot of a lot more commonalities than differences, uh, similarities that are, than differences between between us. So, sort of looking ahead uh, over the next few years, uh, and particularly maybe through that sort of international lens, what do you think we can do uh, better together and, and collaboratively to tackle some of those threats that we're both facing? Um, the only way to succeed in tackling cybersecurity challenges is with partnerships. And I think forums like this one, some of bringing the international community together, establishing uh, norms in terms of cyber behavior is critically important to speak in one voice, uh, not just at Cyber UK, but maybe at RSA, maybe at other events that we will be participating in. And, and always standing together and being showing to the world that we're part of the same team and we care about the same values and we want to make sure that we make a difference in the cybersecurity space. So I think uh, we need just to continue to be friends, I suppose. Yeah, well, no, and thank you for the fantastic uh, partnership and friendship we've got with you and your organization. And I look forward to 
working with you closely uh, in the role that you're taking on. Thank you very much for joining us today at Cyber UK. Thank you very much. <laughs>